Hey friends, Ellie here. Today I will be doing a ukulele pickup unboxing slash testing slash review for you guys. This is the Cremona UK-1 ukulele pickup. I ordered it online and I just figured I might as well make this video because people are probably going to ask in the future what I'm using. Now what made me interested about these is the fact that they don't require any modification to your ukulele or instrument at all and they are supposedly just held in place by string tension. So we'll see how that works out. All right, let's get started. Cardboard box. There we go. All right. So inside we find a few different things. There appears to be a business card, guitar picks, which is kind of strange because this is for a ukulele. Thanks. You know that I also play guitar, psychic. <laughs> oh nice, they also send you a free membership to some online guitar lessons. These are all for guitars. As well as, oh this is just your order. It says Elizabeth, please tell your friends about us. Scott. Ah, that's cute. I like personalized messages. Alright, we'll put these things back in the box and put it aside. The last thing that also came in the box is the Cremona UK1 Natural Detachable Passive Piezo Pickup Solution. Nice. It's such a cute little box. Okay, I'll open this. And inside we find, like they said, the pickup cable as well as the pickup itself. It's very small and it is completely encased in wood, like they say. I think it actually is just about all wood. Nice. So I will grab my ukulele now. So I'm going to loosen all of the strings, and there's a lot of them, so this is not fun. And of course, I'm not fancy like the guitar shops are, and I don't have one of those, like, things. Alright, so what I just did is I absolutely loosened all of the strings on my ukulele until they can be loosened no more, basically. Um, if you need help taking out the, I don't know, these things are called little braids at the bottom, I don't know, the little twisty things. Like if, you need, if you need help taking out these little twisty things, um, I wouldn't recommend using anything sharp because you'll scrape, you'll scratch up your bridge. Uh, I would not recommend using the actual Corona to loosen them and pry them open because the box says that it's very fragile because it's made out of complete complete wood and it's very thin. Mine are loose enough that I can just pull them out with my fingers uh, because of the length that they are. If you're a right-handed instrument player like I am, you'll want the female end on the bottom so that the wire goes out the bottom of your instrument and doesn't circle around here. Unless you like that look, then go and do whatever the heck you want. And you're going to want to insert it one string at a time. And there you have it, it is installed. Go ahead and retune your instrument. Now that you've gotten your ukulele mostly in tune, you can go ahead and plug your pickup into some sort of sound device that you choose. The cord that it comes with doesn't actually, I don't think, go all the way in, but it does do like a little click thing. It says to hold the head of your pickup as you insert it, again, because of its fragileness. Now, just a disclaimer, this amp is like a really, really, really old Washburn guitar amp that I just had lying around, so this is not the sound quality at all that you'll be looking for, but this is how it works so far. <laughs> installation. If you are an expert at installing things, you could probably do this in like 20 minutes if you had all the right tools. It took me about an hour and a half just because A, I didn't have all the right tools and B, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm happy it all worked out. Uh, this is absolutely by no means sponsored. I wish it was. I will leave you guys a link to where I bought it and the instructional video from where I bought it in the description down below. Feel free to go to their website and buy it if you'd like one. 
the shipping time was absolutely astonishing. They said they'd have it to me within a month or something, and it was to me within a week. I think it looks really cute and versatile, and you can put it on any ukulele you choose. I would recommend in the future for Cremona to come out with more, like, wood colors, because this doesn't really match my ukulele, but I actually don't mind that it doesn't match my ukulele. It's kind of, kind of obvious that it's a little add-on. It's a little something special, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share with all your friends and family, and subscribe. If you thought this was helpful, or if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I will reply as soon as I possibly can. Other than that, thanks for watching. Until next time, guys.